Now, how does that feel? Feels great, doesn't it? Okay, how are we doing? Good afternoon, I'm fan of you. Good, I'm Julius. Podrick. Julius, nice to meet you, Julius. Very good. Like to nice meet you. to meet you. How are you? Pleased to meet you, man. Do you stretch before you go and play golf or? Very little, actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Have you ever stretched like your, your eyes before you do it? No. So what you want to do, you want to hop up and we actually want to do like a couple of arm swings as well. So if you jump up, that's it. You, you better get it. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Lay the club across there if you want to. I open my eyes quickly, maybe maybe 10 times. Right, you blink. See if you can get two swings in. So as we go, that's it, two circles. And you'll already feel you're starting to warm up, right? We always stretch the wrists or the, the forearms, but fingers, you know, if you do that quickly, maybe 10 times each side, all fingers, put it through. Sometimes I do it with the eyes. Don't do anything yet. I really think now, if you, just so we just don't see the ball, it's, 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 it's got to be. ball is still sitting nicely, okay? But you can't see it now. Oh, even better. What is the reason you're putting the grass on the ball? Oh, so you don't see it. Taking a, taking a long breath on the way back and then letting it out quickly on the way through. So it's kind of like, as you hit it. Did you do it enough there? I didn't hear it. There's a bit of a slight. Well, a lot of the guys do breeding, but what I like to do is humming. It's like. And it, and it just. It just Put the oomph in. It just gives. Yes! Okay. I, I'm going to hear the hum. Yeah, see, 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 you peaked in the backswing. Oh, that, that's perfect. It's, it's, it's right. What it you is want. right. You, you, you can feel it, can't you? You can feel the increase of speed. Yes, but I'm not hitting the ball. What I try and do, I just try and swing one-handed. Yeah. And I want to get that club releasing through the impact position. Okay. And the, the best way to do that is yeah. literally... Oh, gosh. Just, just throw it. It's fine. I have one thing that I would like to teach you. I call it the right knee swing through. So you really have to get the right knee up. Ideally, you keep standing in this position. Okay. The, the knee was a little bit late. So you got it right through, eh? Right through, one more. Get the knee, there you go. That's a powerful swing. You're just gonna, you're just gonna, you're gonna throw it. Yeah, you're gonna release it. So you're just gonna swing away and let it go. Nice, that's great. Have another go with that. Now, how does that feel? Feels great, doesn't it? Okay, I hold it here. Okay. You put on the blindfold, you visualize Rory's swing, and then you hit it. Okay, just visualize the shot. Beautiful. Did it go straight? Fairly. Par, so remember par, right? When it comes to the swing, and again, it's all about, the P stands for power, okay? The A stands for accuracy and the R stands for wrists. You really got to use the wrists. So. Oh, best one of the day. Am I good or am I good? You don't win three majors for nothing, you know? What if I told you that this was all just a wind up? Yasmin, I don't practice throwing golf clubs up the range. <laughs> <laughs> That's having fun, Don't I guess. punch me. <laughs> no, no, no. This, Ethel, this was my effort to give you the worst advice I could give you for three minutes and see whether you would take it. <laughs> I, would, I would never hit a shot with a knee. <laughs> <laughs>